So if you're anything like me, you've probably opened up Pygame and wondered, how fast can we make this thing? I did that the other day, and the answer is not that fast. Not as fast as it could go. Let's say, for instance, that we've got a bunch of images and we want to randomly generate some of them and draw them. Here I've got one image and it's going at about 1400 frames per second. It's pretty good, I guess. We can do this a few more times. We can make a few more images. Let's make four images. And we've got that, we've got 1200 frames per second. But it turns out that we don't need to push it too hard until it starts suffering. So we can put in like um, 32 images. And we're now at 800 frames per second. I will say this is actually handling it pretty well. We could put in 512 images. And again, it's, it's handling 512 images, but it's gone down to 200 frames per second. So I was looking into this and I was saying, well, is there a way to hardware accelerate this? And online, everyone was saying, ah, oh, but Pygame already is hardware accelerated because SDL is hardware accelerated. And my rebuttal to that is it may be hardware accelerated, but if it's not going fast, the purpose is not just to mirror SDL, but to make it fast. So if you're slightly masochistic like me, I really like the interface of Pygame and other packages, but I just wanted to make it faster. So I went ahead and made my own package. This is a pip package, you can install it. It basically operates the same way as Pygame, but it goes way faster. So here we are rendering at 3000 frames per second and we can have arbitrary transformations. Um, yeah. Under the hood, this is all running basically OpenGL 3.3, but we don't need to know that because I'm going to be developing a whole bunch of different backends. I goofed that up. Sorry, I set FPS. This is actually 128. So let's go, what do we have? 512, let's have an even comparison. So 512 sprites in Pygame, 200 frames per second. In Pycrasu, 1000 frames per second. So if you've never opened up a window and drawn a whole bunch of sprites and, and said, wow, that goes really fast, then congrats, you probably are a well-rounded individual with a life. But for me, this is a game changer. 1000 frames per second. And this isn't something where like it has a really high overhead. So like, let's say we want 32 sprites. That's not too much to randomly generated sprites and that's about 6,000 frames per second. I guess the purpose of this video is it's, it's just sort of like warning shots at Pygame. They've got to make it faster. And in the meantime, I've got my package which I'm going to be developing. Um, link down below. But I'm going to be doing my best to document everything. And yeah, this is just my little little demo, little introduction to my system. By the way, how far can we push it? 10,000? 10, 10,000 objects? Is that possible? Yeah, it's totally possible. As a matter of fact, we get 60 frames per second. So I can't think of how to end this. I just, I think this is pretty cool. And I think this is a pretty clean interface. I might do some tutorials on this when I get it further developed. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you find this as exciting as I do and I will see you again soon. Bye. Hi everybody, I just wanna take a second to say thank you to my 
What's going on here? It's pretty cool. To say thank you to my channel supporters. Listen, I'm community funded. If you want to support me, it's $2.50 a month. That's about the amount of value I think these videos bring. They're pretty cool. If you do not want to financially support, that is totally fine. None of it is expected. The best thing you can do is get involved, comment, let me know what sort of stuff you'd like to see and if there are any improvements that I can make. Because sometimes I get busy with life, but I am trying to make the best content, the best educational content that I can. So, very big thank you to Antonin Karet, Declan, Endelon Studios, Isaiah Meyer, Jason Coleman, Matthew Derrick, Moin, Shreyar, Skibbity Pop, and Maxim Shukim. Thank you so much, my dudes. I really do appreciate it. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye.